Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to create this part called secondary bracket. The shape will be similar to the object shown here. And the part have a inclined position on the journal bearing city. Okay, let's start modeling. So first begin with the two coincident circle on the front plane. Uh, one is the 15 diameter and 30 diameter of the cylinder. Okay, then creating a horizontal line to the left as a path and the distance will be 16 and using the click and drag mode on the sketch uh, we will get the continue arc between the line and the arc over there and dimension it accordingly using the radius over there and then the angle between those two line is a 60 and also the height of the final point is 110. Then finish the sketch and create a plane along a path at the path line we just created. And create a sketch over there and use the two rectangular uh, shape and we're going to use the mid constraint to stick it up together and also the same thickness of the profile and dimension it accordingly with the 40 height and width at the same length or the same value and position this profile at the center of the path over there and use the 8 millimeter thickness of this uh, profile then finish the sketch and create another sketch at the right plane and make a similar sketch to the profile we just created before with a slightly different dimension as on the screen here you can see Please ensure the sketch profile orientation is correct. Okay, we're going to use the same thickness of the profile, but a slightly different height and width. And also make sure the position of this profile will be at the center. Okay, then after finish, just click finish the sketch and use the loft command to create the lofted profile using those two sketches and we just created and also a path line at the center as a path or on the, sorry, as a rail on the loft command. So place the rail as a center line over there. Okay. Okay, perfect. And create a sketch on the inclined angle and make a profile sketch accordingly and use 60 degree to orient to perpendicular to the profile over there. And then use those profile to create a sketch. And we, go, we are going to look for the center of this line so we can utilize the sketch okay? you can utilize the first sketch that we just created yes and that one we can use that uh, point we first project it okay so we project the point and then use that line or that point as a reference
create a dimension accordingly this is a uh, and also can offset it to the offset direction with 10 millimeter and create a inclined line and then position it at the center of the point using the midpoint constraint and also we have to create the horizontal line as a reference because we are going to create an angle so between those two lines and we just create the angle dimension with the 30 degrees and then we also dimension the radius that represent the length 70 and also create another line to create the flanks okay i use the perpendicular constraint and then cut it accordingly and create the dimension of the thickness yeah that one three millimeter thickness and as well as over there is a uh, 12 uh, millimeter and then on the other side you can choose by mirroring the profile from the one side to another or we just create a simple line like this uh, usually if a uh, scale is not complex i prefer to create it manually instead of mirroring Okay, use the collinear to ensure they have both collinear lines. And then finish the sketch. Use uh, extruded with the side option. One side option, which is, sorry, two sides. Two sides option, so we can extrude with a different value of each other. Okay, and you can see there we still left a small portion of the lofted bodies and we just can simply remove it by extruding the center the inner cylinder of the previous cats okay using all and then cut it like so okay yeah, finish and then we are going to deal with the flanges over there we have a top and bottom flanges so first we are going to use the chamfer to create the two distance chamfer with the value of 25 and 12 okay we are we do the both four sided of the flanges with the same value Okay, this is the last one. Okay, so now we are going to add the full round fillet over there. So in the feature of the full round fillet, we not necessarily to input the radius value. Because they are going to create a full round. Okay, finish. And then we add a M16 through hole on the center of the rounded fillet we just created. Okay, and then create the other side of the flints with the same M16 hole.
Okay, just adjust the whole depth accordingly. And then we are dealing with the other side of the bracket and extrude the two cylinder from the very first sketch. Use a symmetric feature with a total length of 40. Wait, let me try 40. I think it's 50. Okay. Then create a sketch on the front plane and project the edges from the lofted bodies and also the cylinder and create the inclined angle over there and also a horizontal line needed to create as a reference of an angle okay use a uh, 60 degree and the distance will be from the point of the line and the center point of the cylinder will be 25 okay and then create another line which is parallel to each other and with a distance of uh, okay six millimeter okay then we create the extrusion on the profile we just created before and to choose the profile we can click and hold the left mouse button and there will pop up menu which is which will let us to choose which profile that you actually wants to select it okay choose the profile accordingly and then extrude it with a symmetric and the join operation as well and then use a 22 of one side as a distance okay and then we going to reopen the first sketch and extrude it to create a slot over there with the symmetric and the total length will be uh, 20 millimeter okay and then make sure to choose the cut operation in this case okay add a last feature which is the hole uh, 16 millimeter of hole okay at the center of the cylinder and this one is just a blind hole uh, sorry a true hole with a 15 millimeter of diameter okay so we finished the basic shape and next step we are going to add a fillet so the fillet is kind of a quite a tricky operation within the cat especially the parametric modeling in the cat system so you need to follow the sequence correctly in order to get the result that you desire so if the sequence is not correct so you will end up end up with a different shape of the fillet so basically creating the fillet and judging the value of the fillet will be like trial and error because sometimes fillet will get an error ok 
okay at uh, major fillet over there okay okay and then we going to select the last fillet which is at the top surface and at the bottom surface as well and near the cylinder this one okay yeah that one and that edge okay so if there is an error so we can adjust the value of the fillet and usually have a lower value where we succeed okay yes okay finally we have finish creating the object and you have any if you have any question or comments please consider to type into the comment box below and thank you for watching and bye bye